Hello, hello, lovelies. I am here in my studio because, you know, gotta physically isolate. <laughs> um, yeah, I would be here anyway, so it's not that big of a change. Um, but I am going a little stir crazy. How are you doing? Staying safe, I hope. Staying sane. Although that might already be a stretch. We're already at day. What day is it? I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that. Everybody's worrying about that. And yeah, so we're going to take a break from it. Because I would like to share something with you that is long overdue. <laughs> oh, I am not one for staying up on trends. If you've been with me for a hot minute, you already know that. So this painting back here, and subsequently actually that one as well, um, was another... <laughs> very late to the party trend video that I did, um, the 100 layers challenge, which I will link in a card somewhere up here. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to orient when it's on my computer. Um, but yeah, so if you want to check that one out, that'll be another way past overdue trendy video. Um, anyway, so the one that I would like to share with you today is a what's inside my bag video. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, um, I remember when those used to be all the rage, and I liked watching them, and I kind of always wanted to do one, and I don't know why I never did. Um, and then I got this breakfast journal, and I'm going to be sharing the rest of that. I have pretty much completed this bad boy at this point. There's another! <laughs> Is anybody wrecking the journals anymore? I don't know. <laughs> One of the breakfast journal pages was treat the things in your bag or pocket, let the lines overlap. So what I thought I would do for that one is show you, well, I actually finished this page back in 2017, so like three years ago. Um, this is not the purse that I was using back then. It was a purple one. It's the exact same shape and style, though, um, that I made. Thank you very much. Um, it had a longer strap, and yeah, I wore the snot out of that one. It's pretty well dead. Um, I thought I would show you what I kept in a very similar bag to this three years ago, and how I completed this particular page, um, tracing the things in the bag. So because it's three years have passed since I finished this bag, yeah, the things that I'm carrying in it are a little bit different as well as the bag itself. But most of it's the same. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is the purse that I'm going to be showing you. Like I said, the purse that I was using three years ago is purple, and this one is black, with the red lining. I think I could do a tutorial for this at some point. Like this video and comment below if you'd be interested in that. This could be an actual sewing tutorial. I don't know how I would do this. Anyway, the first and biggest thing in here that's poking up is my wallet. It's a simple blue... I'm not going to open it up because I currently use this wallet and it's got all my stuff in it. Um, so you don't need to see all that. It's got a little leather tassel. And we'll just pop that right... There. And I used a blue pen to trace around just like that. And then I colored it in in blue and a little bit of gray for the metal, which I'm glad I did because having everything color coded helped me figure out what everything was when I looked back. Okay, the next biggest thing in here is this rough looking <laughs> little beauty here. This is my cell phone holder thingy. Got a couple pockets inside for, um, I usually put like my driver's license, throw my cell phone, and this is what I carry when I go and pick up the younglings from school. So I have my driver's license. Um, and I've been using this for, yeah, it's 
It's rough looking. Probably about four years. Love this one though. Okay, and then this one went right here. And same kind of thing. I used different color pens to go around. The blue and the pink and the orange and the red all the way around to sort of match the colors. And then just as before, I colored it in in a similar color, similar style, even have a little sun there um, without too much detail. But again, so I'd recognize what it was. Okay, the next thing in here is a pen. I can't remember if I got this one at the Canadian Walmart or American Walmart. Either way, this would have come, I believe, from a 10 for 10 challenge, which I will link in a card above and in the description below if you want to check out those videos as well. That was a fun challenge and actually a little bit more timely <laughs> when I did those. Um, but anyway, a little purple with bats. I love rocking a Halloween and occasionally Christmas aesthetic all year round. So same as before, I used the different color pens to outline and then colored it in. The cap is a different color. I don't know where the black cap went, but it's green now. Okay, the next thing in here is a lotion. Just a little hand lotion. I like to have this stuff in my purse, um, you know, in case obviously hands get dry. I also um, suffer from the occasional eczema flare-up, so I like to have a little something in case that happens. So same as before, pop that down, outlined, and this one is white up here, so I outlined in blue so you can see it. Next thing in here mention this, this is different and yet kind of the same. So in the book I have this one outlined. It was a little heart shaped uh, with a crystal on it and this is essentially the same thing, it's just a different shape. This one broke so that's why I replaced it with this. It's basically just a purse hook. So you'd hang, you'd put the heart part or on this one you put the circle on the table and then hang your purse. And I still carry this in whatever purse I'm using at the time. Next thing in here is super important, especially right now, <laughs> hand sanitizer. This is my little clip one that I keep clipped to again whatever purse I'm carrying at the time and then whenever I need it. And I love that it's all glittery mermaid tail. Bestie got this for me. Put that down here. And as always, outlined in similar colors and then colored it in. I even did a little gradient. Okay, up next is something that I don't always carry with me. But I was at the time of thinking this and I have been lately I still need to get it to the store and uh, print off pictures for my phone, which is not going to happen anytime soon, but will happen eventually. This is my little the carabiner clip protective case memory stick doohickey thing. So this one, this went here, kind of like, I don't remember how that went there. Something like that, with this right there. And trace it with the green and the gray and a little bit of yellow, like that. Okay, up next is, oh, this I have literally had forever. These are little feng shui good luck coins a little red string with the three coins 
I've had this in every wallet I have ever owned since I think about high school. So, long time. For this one I just kind of spaced out coins so you could see all three. Held down the ribbon and traced everything out that way. And that went right there. Oh, and the next thing is another little coin. This one I got from the Mandarin. Um, I don't remember how many years ago. And this one went right there. I thought it was pretty cool because it has the square in the center. Oh, here we go. I also have a, a loony. It's a one dollar coin here in Canada. For those who aren't familiar. This one went right there. I chose this one because it has the weird, it's not a smooth side, it's got little eh, 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 like notches. And that went right there. And oh, this one is different as well. This is my Lush Chapstick. Mm. I love this one. The one I carry around with me now is the chocolate lipstick, which um, has always been my favorite. I remember I used to get this all the time in college, and then I was sad they stopped making it, but they brought it back. And it went right here. This little outline. You can see the outline here is green, because when I traced this one, it was key lime. And the last thing I could find is my fidget beads. I love these. I have a tutorial on how to make one of these here on my channel if you're interested. Again, there will be a clickable eye up here somewhere, as well as a link in the description. And I welcome you to check that out. It's that 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 it's been very highly received, which makes me very happy. And that one went right here. That was fun to draw. Blah blah blah. Boom 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 for the beads. And it looked like that. So the things that I could not find were this here, this little purple kitty cat shape, which is a Luna head squishy. I got that in a, um, it was a Sailor Moon themed mystery box. I can't remember the company. I think it was a Q box probably. I think I have a video for that too, so I will list that um, in the description, and uh, you can check that out if you'd like as well. I loved the little moon head. I still love it. I have to see if I can track it down. I'm pretty sure I lent it to my daughter. It's probably somewhere safe. <laughs> and then the only other thing on this page is this pink shape that I cannot for the life of me figure out what it is. I think it might have been a candy wrapper, like a Mentos or something. But I don't remember. Probably would have been a good idea to write these down, like a little legend somewhere. <laughs> but anyway. So there is my completed breakfast journal page with everything that I stored in my bag three years ago. Many of which I still have in my bag today. <laughs> I hope you found this entertaining and maybe a little insightful into me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you probably sooner rather than later in the next video. Until then, stay fabulous!